Hi guys, Debbie Bubbles here. Welcome back to my channel and into the walls of our home. This evening, I am participating as well as co-hosting in the Quick and Easy Meals. This collaboration is hosted each and every Sunday by Simply Grace Lifestyles, Deborah Cabasa Home Living, and me, Debbie Bubbles. Y'all, this evening, I'm going to make for you a chicken stir fry over rice. So y'all keep watching because it's delicious. Oh yeah, and just one more word about this collaboration. It is hosted again, like I say, every Sunday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is an open collaboration. It is open to one, open to all. We want you to participate. So join us each Sunday with your videos of your quick and easy meals, whatever quick and easy is to you. We want to see it. We want to enjoy it. We want to maybe go make it ourselves too. So y'all join us each Sunday for the quick and easy meals open collaboration playlist which is updated every sunday evening 7 p.m eastern standard time and now on with this cooking show okay y'all so i am browning some fine meat um two chicken thighs that i had left over from something else i made i decided to pick those up season them and we're browning those up we're going to make a little bit of a stir fry or a skillet type stir fry here in just a moment so i'm adding a little bit of water to what we had going on in the skillet already just um the meat is almost cooked through but i wanted to go ahead and be sure to be able to get all those good brown bits and flavor off the bottom of the pan so i'm adding in a little bit of water to the skillet and i'm gonna let this kind of simmer and then reduce all the way down again and I'll be back. All right, so coming in with a fresh pair of tongs, giving things a little toss and stir around. All I have inside of the skillet, outside of the chicken, which has been seasoned with a variety of things, is a little bit of avocado oil. And again, I'm using a few chicken thighs and just kind of sauteing those, getting those nice and brown before we proceed any further. I also have over here a pot of rice. It's not boiling yet, but will be here in a little bit. Okay, so I've got my chicken where I want it. And I'm going to go ahead and now transfer it to this bowl here. And then we're going to start on our vegetables. Now, I'm going to use the same skillet, same oil that's in there because again I'm cooking with my avocado oil. Yes, the chicken did render out a little bit of oil from that. Either way, I'm still using what I've got right here. Now to the skillet that I just took the chicken out of, I'm going to add in some of this cabbage here. And one of my foodie hauls is coming up, or you may have seen by now, I don't know. Um, we'll see where Walmart gifted us. <laughs> no, I ended up with four heads of cabbage instead of just the one or two that I'd ordered. I can't remember. And so, since I have all this extra cabbage, I figured I'm gonna whoop some of this down and add it into the stir fry that I'm making. And I said I'm gonna wilt it down. I'm gonna let it sweat down, wilt down, whatever you wanna call it. And ooh, wait. Getting a little crazy over here, haphazard with our meal prep today. Now, as for this chicken here, my middle son, my middle child, just came, popped his head in for a little bit with Mama, and he sampled the chicken. He says, Mama, what did you put on that chicken? It was good. <laughs> I said everything but the kitchen sink. So now I'm just doing what it does. My rice is boiling. I'm getting ready to drain it. So I have my rice drained and rinsed and it is being set to the side. And over here, the cabbage is working down nicely. I'm going to take it out of the skillet here in just a moment and add it into the bowl there with that chicken. I want it to be kind of crisp, tender still. Um, using this cabbage in lieu of the bok choy, which is cabbage in itself. Using the same skillet that I did the chicken and the cabbage in, I'm gonna come in now with a little bit of this deluxe stir fry mix, which is broccoli, Italian green beans, carrots, 
baby cob corn, baby corn cobs, water chestnuts, and red peppers. So we're gonna saute those here in this skillet. And there are those frozen veggies. We're gonna let them get their saute on. All right, y'all, the veg. Just gonna get it there. Still frozen for the most part though, but it's coming right along. All right, y'all, so the veg is cooked down and steamed how I want it. We're gonna take it out of this skillet and move on to the next step. Okay, so I have added the stir fry vegetables in with the chicken and the cabbage. I am going to now get out a larger pot because I have some some burnt pieces there, you know, some things to do. Anyway, I'm going to get out a larger um, pot or skillet to manage what we've got going on here. And but that ain't nothing but flavor, y'all. So you don't have to eat if you want to, but that ain't nothing but flavor. Okay, so I'm coming in with Dutch oven here. Um, y'all, I have added to the bottom of this vessel here approximately a half a cup of water to start off what I'm going to do next. So y'all, in the land of waste not, want not, you know those packets you get over at Panda Express or various restaurants? I'm going to start off with some of the Mandarin teriyaki sauce because I love it. And I'm going to add a couple packets into this pot and then we're going to go in with some poison sauce and a little bit of butter too because butter makes everything better. Y'all, if you haven't tried this mandarin orange teriyaki sauce that they have at Panda Express, you should try it. It is pretty good, y'all. I enjoy the flavor. It's not too sweet, definitely, and it is absolutely not too soft, in my personal opinion. I am really filling that um, mandarin orange sauce. And I'm going to add now just a tad of the hoisin sauce. I'm going to overpower because it has a little more of a salt background than the others. Now, as I get ready to come in with a touch of butter, you may or may not be asking yourself, why did she add that water to that pot? Well, I wanted to thin out the sauces, first of all. They'll thicken up as this heats, but I wanted to thin out the sauce, prevent any burning or browning too quickly. Not browning, but I don't want to burn. But I like a thinner sauce to put these vegetables and the chicken into, and so, once it all gets incorporated, it'll do what it does. Don't worry, keep, stay with me. Don't go anywhere. Now off camera guys, I came in with another dabble do ya of the hoisin sauce and one more packet of that mandarin orange teriyaki sauce. And next I'm going to add in my stir fry veggies and the chicken and let them heat through again. And then it's gonna be time to serve it up. Because I'm not using my tripod, I'm going to go ahead and just pour those veggies over in there and set this aside. Give it a tossy toss and I'll be back. Y'all, this is going to be so good. I can't wait. Y'all, if you didn't know, now you know I am all about presentations. So we have our rice there on our plate and let me find something to spoon up these wonderful veggies with. Hang on one moment. So y'all, here is our meal. Ready to eat? So y'all, there is our meal. I'm about ready to see again. Quick, easy, simple, delicious. No more commands. To accompany my meal, we're gonna do a white wine spritzer using some Clos du Bois and Sprite. guys we are eating or dining alone and let's just go in and get a little bit of some of everything here if I can and I wish I had taste mm. 
Yep. It's a 10 out of 10. Y'all, this is really good. I wish you were here with me. But since you're not, we're going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it without you. Until next week. Until next time. Y'all have a blessed and beautiful day. Or evening or night or whatever. And join us next week for another quick and easy meal prep. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you soon. Thank you.